Oh look, Tesla! Demand characteristics! Oh my gosh! A frog! <laughs> wow! Introspection! Cultural bias! Cultural bias! <laughs> Help me, Tessa! I'm floating through the mind! So many cognitive thoughts everywhere! Oh look! This is a cognitive thought! Gender! Careful. Wait, that's not a cognitive approach! Oh well, what's it doing up here? Go away, gender! No, a criminal! <laughs> <laughs> Quickly! Don't shoot them, Tessa! Custodial sentencing is the way! Or anger management! Or the other one where they talk to the offender. Token economy! <laughs> <laughs> to conclude our lesson, we're going to summarise the most important elements of cultural bias. Firstly, what is bias? Well, cultural bias is the concept of ignoring cultural differences and considering norms to be the same in various cultures across the world. But what about ethnocentrism, then? Well, ethnocentrism is an element of cultural bias which suggests that we judge other cultures by the values of our own. Sometimes these concepts evolve as a result of believing that one's own culture is superior to others have you heard of cultural relativism, Tessa? Yes, that's in fact the idea that norms and values can only be meaningful and understood within specific cultural contexts, and therefore cannot be related to other contexts. There are no doubt advantages and limitations of recognising the presence of cultural bias in research today. But what are they? Well, a key advantage is that it enables us to broaden our knowledge about various cultures around the world, this means that we can conduct cross-culture and universal studies which can be generalised to various cultures. Another advantage is that it also has real-world application. This means that we can apply what we know about cultural bias into our psychological research. This enables us to obtain more useful and generalisable results. Okay. On the other hand, of course, there are disadvantages. One being that psychological research varies depending on the cultures. So, certain cultures may be aware about how certain psychological research takes place, others may not. Therefore, demand characteristics can therefore be shown. Mm, that's right, Tessa. We also need to be aware that it's going to be impossible to completely eradicate cultural bias. I mean, it's a fact that some cultures are individualist and some are... Collectivist! That's right, Tessa! <laughs> so, this is another disadvantage of trying to eliminate cultural bias. Very true. Make sure you're not a victim of enforcing cultural bias or you might be sentenced to prison! Which has lots of psychological effects. More on that in our next video. Toodaloo peeps!